When you come to Philadelphia, there are so many beautiful and historic sacred sites to see. You'll be amazed by their diversity and symbolism. The National Shrine of St. John Newman is the perfect place to learn about Philadelphia's fourth bishop and the first American male saint. Philadelphia is a great place to explore. This city has so much to offer, you'll have to visit a few times just to get it all in. A quick trip on the Market Frankfurt Line to Girard Station and a short walk a few blocks west will get you to Northern Liberties, one of Philadelphia's hottest neighborhoods. At the corner of 5th and Girard, St. Peter the Apostle Church and the National Shrine of St. John Newman is built to honor Philadelphia's fourth bishop and the first American man to be canonized a saint. This shrine is a great place to learn about the early history of Catholicism in Philadelphia and see some amazing art and architecture while you're at it. You can explore this upper church, which is a magnificent Baroque masterpiece where St. John Newman celebrated Mass and heard confessions. Or you can visit the Lower Church, where you can admire the remarkable stained glass windows that tell the story of St. John Newman's life and achievements. See the painting that hung from St. Peter's Basilica on the day of his canonization, and even see the body of St. John Newman himself. Yes, his body's in there, although the face is a mask. Want to find out why Catholics venerate relics or pray to saints? This is the place to find out. Even Pope St. John Paul II visited this shrine in 1979 when he made his historic visit to Philadelphia. St. John Newman is considered the father of the Catholic diocesan school system here in Philadelphia, having increased the number of Catholic schools from two to 100 in just eight years. He had 80 churches built throughout the diocese, and he introduced the 40 hours Eucharistic devotion to the country. St. John Newman spoke more than 10 different languages to minister to his flock, who came here to Philadelphia from all over Europe in the search of freedom of religion. And today they continue to come, seeking a better life and the freedoms that we Americans hold so sacred. Today this shrine ministers to immigrants from all around the world, including a large Spanish-speaking community that's moved in. After a day of exploring this historic gem, take a break next door at one of my favorite Mexican restaurants in all of Philadelphia, Las Cazuelas, owned by Alfredo Aguilar, a native of Pueblo, Mexico. Mexican food doesn't get much better than this. So the next time you're in Philadelphia, consider adding this landmark to your itinerary. While St. John Newman's legacy can be seen throughout the city, the best place to start learning about him is here at the National Shrine of St. John Nepomucene Newman. Check out all of our videos to explore the exciting history of Catholicism in Philadelphia. I'm Diana Von Glan, the Faithful Traveler. Thanks for watching, and thanks to all of our sponsors.